I want to address just real briefly here the oral defense. Um, as satisfying as it is to complete the manuscript, uh, your initial manuscript, I want to talk about the fifth course of our five course doctoral project sequence. This course uh, is dedicated to a few things. First of all, once you've completed and, and had your dissertation, excuse me, your doctoral project chair and, and committee um, give approval to move forward, then immediately, and you'll see this in your fifth course syllabus, right from week number one, you will have needed to procure the services of a professional editor. You'll want to, to move quickly on this, to submit your, your, your working manuscript, your working draft of your doctoral project, completed doctoral project. The research has been done, the writing has been done. Have a professional editor go through this line by line and edit it for APA format, as well as uh, other stylistic consider considerations. I like what Dr. Shaw said uh, two days ago in our first day of our doctoral boot camp, is that it's helpful to read a lot of doctoral dissertations and doctoral projects to get a feel for the idiom of, of, of what a doctoral project is and what it isn't. And a professional editor can really help uh, with the languaging of it as well. So that's, that's kind of item number one in that, in that fifth and final course of the doctoral project sequence. You'll be spending the remainder of the time of that course in preparing for your, doc for your final orals. And included in that will be a PowerPoint presentation that should be concise. I recommend 10 slides over 20. Less is more if you, if you can just get right to the chase. What you can think of is that you're going to be translating a lot of words of your doctoral project into just relatively few minutes where you're going to be speaking in real time to your peers, namely your doctoral project committee. And it's a different task. It's a different skill set. It's one thing to write with finesse. It's another thing to speak uh, naturally and fluidly about what you should know by heart right now. So I recommend that you practice, practice, practice your presentation. Present it to family and loved ones um, to, to, to make sure that you, you're saying something that makes sense in terms of the sequencing of it. And I think one of the keys, and I want to emphasize this in talking about the oral defense, is that it's no time to, uh, I used the word expansive earlier, it's no time to just kind of go without restraint. The same kind of restraint that we mentioned in the earlier, the, the, the writing of the five chapters, should be evidenced in your final oral defense. The recommended time allotment is between 20 and 40 minutes where you basically summarize everything that you've done in real time with your, your uh, doctoral project committee. That may seem like a long, long time. I, I would doubt that there would be anybody that reaches the end of their doctoral project process and finds it easy to summarize all they've done in that period of time. So you really have to practice and hone. And as we use the term, you have to pare, pare everything away that's, that's non-essential. So that when you come into your doctoral uh, final orals, that you're well prepared, you have well in hand, uh, what it is you want to say, you've got a PowerPoint a slide <coughs> series that helps, uh, helps keep you on track and keeps things concise. And then what you do, just in terms of the actual oral defense, you present what you've done, then it moves into a dialogue, question and answer dialogue with your, with your chair and your committee and possibly other participants who are there. And this gives you a chance to uh, trot out your knowledge. There probably won't be anybody on your doctoral project committee who knows your content as well as you do. And I've, I've talked to a lot of people, and I remember my own personal experience, that you, you know, it's like climbing Mount Everest. You climb, you climb, you climb, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you wake up and you burst into a cloud and you're like on the top of the mountain. <laughs> and that's a heavy experience, and I think that's part of the initiation mm -hmm. of the whole doctoral project process. And it's culminating there in the, in the final orals where you get a chance to interact with your, with your advising, uh, your, your committee, your chair, other uh, uh, specialists in the field. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it's, it's an incredible experience to be able to answer questions in real time and really have your handle on it. And uh, I believe that if you do this, roll your sleeves up, dig in, do your five-finger exercises, I believe by the time you get to the final orals, you'll be speaking out of what you know by heart. Mm -hmm. okay. So if I, can, if I can summarize, make sure that you've done your, your practice in being able to, to uh, boil down all that you have to present into just the most germane nuggets, with the focus being primarily on the, what you found, your results, and your discussion of those. And then be prepared to answer in real time questions that will be pretty much kind of chapter five questions. Well, where do you think this goes? How could this apply? Any limitations you can talk about? And insofar as you've already done your work, it will be speaking really out of what you know um, by heart. Um, 
Uh, the, the format is then, then uh, you're excused and the committee mulls over their decision and you're notified within a short period of time whether it's yay or nay. I guess I want to say one final thing about it. There's a lot of anxiety that attends the final orals, even the idea of final oral defense. Mm -hmm. does not you know, evoke just kind of natural confidence, <laughs> but it's honestly, it's set up different at different universities, but how, here at Cal Southern, it's not intended to be an adversarial process. It really is collegial. I've sat in with Dr. Lackey, and, and, and it was, a, it was an, uh, an honoring discussion of peers who are interested in a psychological application. And uh, it, it's a new experience for many of us. For once, we felt like we're actually interacting as peers, kind of on the equal plane with, with, our, with our committee. And while it's a respectful environment that's maintained there, it's not intended to be a stress test. And so I think in preparation for it, if you can be remembering that this is, you're going to be amidst people that have supported you all along, there probably won't be any big surprises. It really is a chance just to have this kind of final stamp of approval before you walk away with your doctorate, okay? So that's it for the final oral defense. Thank you.